Hello. This video will give a brief overview and demonstration of the affinity field value changes to Slack integration. I'm going to go to settings and integrations where we can configure any of the native integrations. I'm going to click into Slack. You notice there are several integrations for Slack here. For this video, we are going to focus on the top one, field value updates for Slack channel. This looks a little different to the others. It's because it is part of our automations builder. So you can also access it directly from automations here. Or you can click try it and that will take you there. So let's create a new automation. And what we're going to do for this is whenever an organization reaches uh, due diligence phase, we're going to send a notification to Slack. So let's give this a name. Uh, I'm going to leave a description for now. We are going to be checking when a field, a list specific field matches certain conditions. The list is going to be our, our master pipeline list. And the field is going to be the status. And the status in particular is going to be this deep diligence or IC review. At this point, we can choose whether to update something in Affinity or to send a Slack notification. If we choose Slack, we need to provide authentication to Slack. So we need to sign into Slack so we can we can use the, the authentication we provide to actually send the message. I've got one set up here already. If you don't have this, it's simply a case of clicking the plus icon. Then if you're signed into Slack, you'll see a screen that immediately looks like this. If not, you will need to, to sign in using your, your, your standard credentials. This then from Slack tells you what scopes are being requested. You can click allow and that will take you back and, and give you the, the option to select in the, in the drop down menu here. Now, it's possible you, you you might need admin approval in your in your Slack environment to do so. If that's the case, then uh, there are a few links here in our Help Center article that you may need to send on to your to your Slack admin. Once we've got this set up, we can choose where we want the notification to be sent. So I'm going to choose a channel and in particular, I have a channel set up for this here. We could then need to specify the message. So we can use tokens, which give us dynamic values based on the, the, uh, the, the entities that's triggering the event and various other field values associated with it. We can also do rich text formatting as well. So in this example, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. In bold, I'm gonna put the name of the organization and we got various options here. I want to link to the profile in Affinity in this case. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bold that. And then I'm going to also add the deal team. And I'm going to unbold this. And the deal team, this is another field that we have that's going to be associated with this organization in the list. So let's see if we can find that here. The deal team. It's going to give us this in the, in the message we get as well. Now you see we have a preview here. This is using one of the one of the items on the list, one of the organizations. We can flick through and check a few more. Uh, yeah, this is looking how I would expect. So I can click save. That autom automation is now live. What I'm going to do, I'm now going to go back and find that list. So this was the deal flow pipeline. With the pipeline here, uh, so I'm going to choose a company that is in our early diligence. Um, let's go with eToro, and I'm going to move it across the deep diligence phase. And when I've done that, that will then send the notification to Slack. So I'll now switch over to Slack. And we can see our new notification here for eToro. We have a link to the company profile and affinity and the deal team. In this case, we just have Natalie on the deal team. Of course, we can then, if we wish to edit this later, we can go back into our automations. We can edit, maybe want to add some more details to the message, 
change some of the triggering conditions and so on, uh, we have the option to do so there.